Graduation took place today at the Oregon High School that experienced a deadly shooting earlier this week. A 15 year old student shot and killed a 14 year old student and injured a teacher before taking his own life. A disturbing statistic has been reported as of late. The gun control advocacy group Every Town for Gun Safety claims there have been 74 school shootings in the United States in just the past 18 months. Now, it is important to note when you break down each of those incidents, the circumstances are very different and not all are like. Like the Oregon shooting. Still, though, the number is shocking. So, what is driving this new statistic and what can be done about it? Marsha Bonhart digging deeper on this tonight. Marsha, what did you find? Mark, there's a new report that shows 98% of all mass shootings, not just those involving schools, are committed by men. It's important for our viewers to know this research is from psychologists and statisticians. There's plenty of explanation about the male mass killer. Testosterone pushes the aggression button. Video games create aggression or just an overall dominant culture of physical aggression. The first 18 months of life are critical for stable emotional health. All humans need positive bonding to connect their moral compasses. If that doesn't happen, people are going to have various degrees of problems. They'll be manifest in a variety of ways, but the most extreme expression is the antisocial personality, the sociopath, the psychopath. And to explain how this affects males, this kind of disaffection can mean there is no defined validation, and that can reverse itself to a lack of attachment to others. It's easy to go into a school or any place and begin to open fire at random if these are not people who matter. When it comes to mass shootings, killers using guns reveal testosterone-fueled egos that can mask feelings of incompetence creating deity complexes, and with that, the killers believe they have the ability to make the supreme decision about who can live or die. Guns are symbols of power. Guns are, without big stretch, uh, psychological uh, phallic symbols, so they are more things that men or, or males gravitate to, and a powerless person, a person that feels powerless, will immediately begin to feel more powerful with a gun. And Dr. Williams says there's also a feeling of entitlement among some males, which also creates this kind of personality. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.